everybody welcome to my youtube channel easy mathematics this video is about to find out the sum of the hp series if any given hp harmonic progression is there then its term if we add then what should be the summation of this uh, all terms that is represented by sn so that sn we are going to find out usually the sum of hp is very much uncommon in my previous video of hp i just shown you what is the term of its summation but how this term will come that i will not discuss over here so for that i am making the separate video so in this video we are going to find out that if a harmonic progression is given then its summation its terms if we add then its summation how we will find out so for that let us consider a hp here this one 1 by a 1 by a plus d 1 plus 1 divided by a plus 2d this one is an hp here d is greater than 0 now our requirement is this asn so asn is equals to 1 by a plus 1 by a plus d in this way now that one we can that means here the tn term we can express in this fx is equals to 1 by x that we come to know from our previous video where i just explain how any ap gp or hp can be uh, represent in a geometrical form or in a functional way so if we can represent any hp series in this form this exponential function form fx is equals to 1 by x then corresponding to that we can plot this function just let me tell you that 1 by x we will find out from here it is tn means we know it is 1 upon a plus n minus 1 into d and corresponding to that one if we substitute x that where x varies from a to a plus n minus 1 into d then we can write here this one where x varies from a to a plus n minus 1 into d and if we plot this one in the graph paper then we will find out corresponding to a our value is 1 by a corresponding to a plus d our value is 1 by a plus d corresponding to a plus 2d our value is 1 by a plus 2d so in this way if we plot this entire graph then our target is here to find out the summation of this means if we take the entire area below this curve then this area is the entire summation of the series so if our requirement is to find out to sum up all this entire area then we just simply apply the numerical method so for that we will have that here first term is first x value is a second one is a plus d that means this gapping is d and this area this one this line is the 1 by a so this length is 1 by a so easily we can form a rectangle from each of this one correspondingly with length 1 by a and width d each rectangle here for the first rectangle the length is 1 by a and width we can say d for the second rectangle the length is 1 by d and the width is d accordingly we can create another rectangle and similarly for the rest by creating all those rectangles we know how to find out the area of each rectangle it is very simple length into width is the area of the rectangle if we now sum all of those then we can find out our desired area but just just observe here if we can the area error for this first rectangle we will generate that much for the second rectangle that much so that is a very bigger error just to minimize this error what we can do if we just take the uh, point here one that is d by 2 from a if we just uh, go leftward d by 2 and here it is d by 2 so then the width of the rectangle remains d and the height is again remaining 1 by a and our rectangle becomes change it will becomes shifting a bit by d by 2 likewise we can shift all the rectangles in this way then if we do so then the error becomes minimizing so if we will do that then we will get the picture like this one just have a look so this one is our here a minus of d by 2 so this point is a plus d by 2 in this way if we consider then this one is the first rectangle this one is the second rectangle first rectangle with height 1 by a and width a 
width d second one is with height 1 by a plus d and the width d likewise so the sum of the areas of this rectangle will be approximately equal to the area under the curve that is the area under the curve from x is equals to a minus d by 2 to a plus n minus 1 by 2 into d because everywhere we are shifting d by 2 so that is the approximate area which we are going to find out so depending upon that if we take the area of that is the summation of the area of each rectangle then it becomes d into uh, the um, length area so length is 1 divided by 1 plus 1 minus i into d that is the length for each and every rectangle for different i value we will get the different length so if we add all those then it is the summation which we can express by the functional form integration of 1 upon x dx where x ranges from a minus d by 2 to a plus n minus 1 by 2 into d now if we just sum of some we just do this integration then what we will find out here we take d common because d is independent of n now that one is approximately equals to this part so this is uh, the entire summation part is your SN except D. The summation part is your SN. That is our required uh, value of SN. So that one is approximately equals to 1 upon D. We just take this D here. So 1 upon D. Then integration of this one. So here the integration of 1 upon X is log X. And it is ranges from A minus D by 2 to A plus N minus 1 by 2 into D. If we substitute these two values, then we will find out log of a plus n minus 1 by 2 into d divided by a minus d by 2. So, sn is equals to, we can say, this one just simplify here, look, if we take the LCM 2 here, then it is 2a plus 2n minus 1 into d divided by 2a minus uh, d, 2 to cancel out. So, that we will find out this one. Here definitely, 2a should be not equals to d and d is not equals to 0. Because if d is equals to 0, then it is undefined. And if 2a is equals to d, then also it is undefined. So in this way, the formula is giving a good approximation to the given sum. In this way, we can find out the summation of Sn of a harmonic progression. I hope you like this video because this is little bit uncommon. Uh, so enjoy the video and have a nice day. Thank you all.